Hi, my name is Anton Hodell and I'm a solutions consultant at Keyfactor. In this video tutorial, I will show you how you can use Sign Server together with Cosign to create signed container images. Cosign is a tool used for signing and verifying container images and is developed as part of the SigStore project of the Linux Foundation. And Sign Server is a multi-purpose digital signer that allows you to centrally manage your signing keys and that has powerful audit logging and archiving features. In this tutorial, I will start by creating a signing key that will be stored in the Sign Server database. And I will create a certificate signing request or CSR for this key. I will use this to issue a digital signing certificate and import that back into Sign Server. I will then create a very simple Docker container image and put that into a registry. Using Cosign, I will then create the payload that describes this container image, and I will sign this payload using Sign Server. Then, using Cosign, I will attach the signed payload to the container image in the registry. And finally, I will show how you can use Cosign to verify signed container images. The setup that I will be using here is an Arch Linux installation with Sign Server and HBCA running. We have uh, video tutorials on how you can get Sign Server and HBCA running really quickly using containers. And uh, for all of the tutorial videos, you can go to YouTube channel Key Factor Community and uh, go check those videos out if you haven't already. Here in the Sign Server interface, I will start by creating a crypto worker, which is an interface to somewhere where signing keys are stored. I will be using the Keystore Crypto worker template and specify Keystore type internal, which means to store the signing keys in the database. And that means I don't need to provide any path to an existing Keystore. Next, I'm going to activate this worker. And the first time that I specify a password here, it will create this key store in the database. And the password that I use here will be used later on to activate this uh, key store again. So I need to make sure to remember this password. After that, I will go into the worker and the crypto token tab and generate my signing key. I want this to be an elliptic curve key of the prime 256v1 uh, curve. And I will give it the alias plain signer. After this, I will create my signing worker. And for this, I will use the plain signer worker template. And because I gave my crypto worker the default name, I don't need to change this value here. I just need to specify the name of the key that this signer will be using, and that is the plain signer key. Now that I have my worker and my key, I need to create a certificate signing request. And I can do that by clicking the generate CSR button inside the signing worker. And I will request a certificate with the common name plain signer. Now that I have a certificate uh, signing request downloaded, I need to bring this over to some certificate authority to issue my signer certificate. And I will be using my EGBCA installation that I have here. And before issuing the certificate, I will create the certificate profile that the certificate will be issued under. So I will start by creating a certificate profile called sign, uh, plain signer. And the type of key I'm using is elliptic curve keys. I will use a one year validity for these certificates. And the only key usage that I want is digital signature. 
and I don't need any extended key usage. Everything else I will leave as default and save this profile. I will also create an end entity profile, also called plane signer. And in here, I define the information that I keep about the holder of a certificate. And the only information I'm providing is a common name, so I will leave this as default and just configure this to map to my plane signer profile. Now that my profiles are created, I can go to the EGBCA RA web to create the request. And I want a certificate of the plane signer profile. And the key pair generation was done in the sign server application. So that means that uh, it's provided by the user and I need to upload the certificate signing request. And I will save this in the GBCA database under the username plane signer and then download the full PEM certificate chain so that I can upload this into the sign server now. So I switch over to my sign server tab, to my worker overview, and I go into my plane signer. And here we have an install certificates button. So I'm, now I need to browse to the certificate chain, click add and install. And now my plane signer worker is ready and active uh, and ready to be used. So now I will switch over to a terminal window where I will create my container image that I will use this worker to sign. So first of all, I will create a very simple Docker container image. I create a Docker file. And I will use the Alpine base. And just do a very simple hello world container. Now I can build this container image using docker build. And I will give it the name indicating the repository, the registry where I'm putting this in, which is my local host registry, under the name demo. Now I will push, push this into the registry with docker push. Now that I have a container image in the registry, I will use uh, Cosign to sign this. And first of all, I need to install Cosign. And on Arch Linux, that is done by running sudo pacman minus s cosine. And the first step in uh, doing an image signature is to generate the payload describing this image. And that is done by running cosine generate and then specifying the image in a registry that you want the payload for. And I will output this into a file called demo payload.json. So if I now just output the content of this file, we can see that this uh, contains some information about the image in the registry. And importantly, it contains a digest of the Docker manifest. Now, to get this uh, payload signed from Sign Server, you can integrate with Sign Server in, in many different ways through a web interface or with our CLI tool. But I will be using a curl command. So I will specify a worker name, so the worker that I want to do the signature with, which is plane signer. And I need to specify the file that I want to upload to get the signature for. And that's my demo payload.json file. I will output the resulting signature into a file called demo payload 
sign.sig. And finally, I need to specify the URL to sign server, which in my case is localhost slash sign server slash process. Okay, so now I should have a resulting signature. The next thing I need to do is to convert this signature from binary into base64. And I can do that by running it through the base64 utility on Linux. And I will output this result into a file called demo payload. Dot sig dot b64. And then I will use cosine to attach this signed uh, payload to the image in the registry. And that is done with cosine attach signature and then specifying the initial payload, which is demo payload dot json. And then the signature, which is the demo payload.sig.b64. And then the, I need to specify the uh, location in the registry where I want to put these files, and that is localhost under the demo uh, container image. With that done, I should be able to use cosine to verify that I have a signed container image. And in order to do verification, I need to provide the cosine with the signer certificate. So I will start by copying that over to my Arch Linux installation, the signer file that I downloaded previously from UGPCA. And I can now run cosine verify specifying the signer certificate. And I also need to specify a certificate chain uh, that I'm trusting. And I issued the signer certificate from my CA called Management CA. So I need to provide the Management CA certificate here. And then finally, I'm specifying the image in a register that I want to do verification on, which is my localhost demo image. And what we can see here is that the verification for this uh, image uh, was performed and it was uh, validating the signature. And here we can see the output, which is this uh, payload that I created with cosine and that contains the information describing this image. So to recap, what I did is that I created a sign server plane signer with an elliptic curve key, and I issued a signer certificate to this sign server worker. And then using cosine, I created a signature payload that describes a container image in a registry. I signed the payload using sign server, and I then attached the sign payload to the container image in the registry, in the repository. And uh, finally, if you are if you are further interested in these topics, uh, you can go to Cosign on GitHub, which is github.com slash segstore slash cosign. You can also check out the Science Server community website at www.signserver.org or the Science Server Enterprise version on www.keyfactor.com slash platform slash keyfactor uh, science server enterprise. We also have a written guide to PKI signature services for microservices and DevOps on doc.primekey.com and a written tutorial for this uh, topic that I covered here today, uh, also on doc.primekey.com. Thank you very much for listening.